first thing to check is their water. I come, I see plenty of feed in a particular unit of cage, I will check their water. I come, I didn't see egg in a particular unit of cage, I will check their water. A bird will not start laying until it attains 1.5 kg. You have to be on point when it comes to health. Any slight ailment or illness, their production will be down. Every little thing matters in layers production. As a matter of fact, I do attain 95% production by 34 weeks. Layers is not fed hardly bit unlike broilers. If they overfeed, they will have more fat in their bellies and if they are fed the air production. There are supplements, there are additives, there are many in the market. There are multivitamins. Everybody just puts egg booster on their brands. And it depends on the breed of the bed you are raising. They are nutrition also. Give them feed. Don't manage on their feed. If they don't meet up to the grammage they should eat in a day, they won't give you the required eggs a day. If you get your things right, your bed should attain 95% production. My name is Abdul Ghaffar. I run a farm, Tropics Integrated Farms, and this is my poultry pen. There are, there are scenarios where farmers will notice some beds are not producing eggs. And by the time you visit the farm, you realize the first thing you check any problem. I come, I see plenty of feed in a particular unit of cage, I will check their water. I come, I didn't see egg in a particular unit of cage, I will check their water. First thing to check is their water. Once the water is coming, then you can check for other things. It's very important to make sure the water is clean. And when I mean clean, so clean that you can drink. Well, obviously, you will not drink the ones in the line. But from the water that is coming into the mines, make sure it's clean as that. There are different ways to tell if a hen has not started producing eggs. You can check between their pelvic bones by placing your fingers between their pelvic bones. Ideally, two fingers will fit in, if at all it has started producing eggs. But you can see that two fingers does not fit in. Even one finger is struggling to fit in. So that means the pelvic bone has not been expanded. Before egg production, the pelvic bone has to expand to allow the size of the eggs to come out. So that's one. Then the other, even with physical appearance, you notice a mature bed. The comb has to be bright and big, not like this. So with appearance, I, I already noticed probably this bed has not started laying. Looking at the comb, the comb is little and it's not as bright as the ones that started producing. Any bed that's not up to 1.5 kg cannot start producing egg. That's it. Layers is not fed hardly bit, unlike broilers. So they require a particular grammage of feed. Your target is not the weight. We are not concerned about the weight. The broilers are fed hardly bit because you want them to uh, take up more calories so they will turn into fats and body weight. Compared to layers, the target is egg production. And as a matter of fact, if they overfeed, they will have more fat in their bellies and it will affect the egg production. So they won't be able to lay eggs as often as they will be. So since the target is eggs, we give them layers feed. They come in mash or pellets. So those feed contain the right ingredients necessary for egg production, calcium and other um, micro elements also. Then, uh, talking about the quantity now, each bed is required at, at different ages. They are required to, to eat a particular grammage of feed. So a mature bed that started laying, ideally should feed around 112 to 113 gram per bed per day. And it depends on the breed of the bed you are raising. There are the several breeds of layers. We have Isa brown, we have Isa white, we have island brown, we have island white also and the likes. The beds you are getting, where are you getting them from? Which archery? Do you know about the history? Have you asked someone that has collected there before? The archery is source the beds from. Know them. Check the farm regularly to see how he monitors, how he manages the beds. Then ask for the vaccination charts. See how he does the vaccination and which one he administered and which one he did not. Then before taking your beds, it's not about if, if people want to get um, print of cages down, they will just be sending this 14 weeks bed, 15, 16 weeks bed, 17 weeks bed. That's not the important thing. You should actually do a random weight of the beds because. A bed will not start laying until it attains 1.5 kg. So before getting the beds, regardless of the weeks they told you, just go and sample the beds. Take randomly and weigh them. At least 1.3 is good. If you get 1.3, you know, a few weeks when they get to you, you can uh, boost them up and they can attain 1.5. The next thing is management, good management practices. How do you manage your farm? from the sanitation, hygiene, the feeding, water treatment, biosecurity, all that coming to be. And I will advise for these few numbers I'm doing, I don't know why I will not get involved myself. 
So if you get involved, so don't be too far away from the farm. Don't think because you have surveillance, you can just abscond from the farm. Be there always. Check, enter the pen, check their litter, check their feed, check the nipple drinker. So good management practices is very important also. The third thing is um, their health, nutrition and health. I'm trying to check for lies. So it's one of the things you check occasionally, just to check if they have ectoparasites like lice on them, you can treat that. You can treat that if you see any. You have to be on point when it comes to health because any slight ailment or illness, they will be down. I mean, their production will be down. So you have to be proactive. Water quality is very important. Flush their water often. You'll be surprised if you don't do that often. If you go to some farm and and you open their uh, exit, the water exit over there, you see how smelly it is because they don't bother to check. So their water to their feed, make sure everything is, is, in, is in a good state hygienically. So um, their nutrition also, give them feed, don't manage on their feed. If they don't meet up to the grammage they should eat in a day, they won't give you the required eggs a day. Every, every little thing matters in, in, in layers production. Any slight thing, it affects their egg production. So you have to just be up and running regarding all those all those practices, management practices, the breed and the genetics, then the nutrition and health. If you get your things right, you should get your bed to attain 95% production. There are supplements, there are details, there are many in the markets. There are multivitamins. Everybody just puts egg booster on their on their brands. There are multivitamins actually. You give them multivitamins. Multivitamins improve the immune system. It makes them eat more. With that, that can stimulate, that can increase their egg production, but not that is a miracle egg booster or something. So aside that, if you give them multivitamin, it do helps a lot. But it has to you have to follow the required uh, meals. Don't just these these are not broilers. Don't rush them with multivitamins just because. They will just, too much multivitamins causes prolapse. Prolapse is a major issue in egg production, in layers. Because if the bed suffer from prolapse, the vent of the chicken, when it lays egg, and the vents do not retract back inside, that's what we call prolapse. And in that, that way, before the chicken can bounce back, before it lays another egg, because if the internal organs do not go back inside, it can lay egg. So you already suffer like a week or more loss of egg from that bed. Then if you didn't notice that bed quite in time, you will lose the bed because other beds in the same unit will peck. They will peck on the vents till the bed dies. Because when they see blood, or they will get, they will get attracted to it and they will start pecking. They will peck until the bed dies. The air production increases with time. By 24 weeks, it should be more than 50% production. So by, that was by 24 weeks, and that will increase steadily. At every four, four days, from 24 weeks, every four days, you should get, let's say, maximum every week, you should get the 10% increase from that 50%. So by the time you get to 34 weeks, it should be around, it should be more than 80% production. As a matter of fact, I do attain 95% production by 34 weeks, my last flock. I did attain that. So with the good practices, as I mentioned earlier, right nutrition, um, good breed, and good health and biosecurity measures, should attain the peak production, 95% is possible.